You see, twins, music was a force held most sacred, used for healing, teaching, and performing great feats of mysticism. Many masters of the occult sciences have communicated with unseen beings through music. Through the power of music, they've done still greater things, such as giving a body to the soul or spirit, making it into a kind of being, which is not yet a physical being, but a being of a higher kind. They're called Muwakils. They take refuge in the ethereal world of sound and music. Have you ever seen a Muwakil, Jimmy? <laughs> That's a good question. I'll show you both my experiences with the Mu. Play that song for me that you guys recorded at Fame Studio down in Muscle Shoals. I'd like to record some guitar paintings on that song now, if it's okay with you. Sure, of course it's okay. As a matter of fact, the master tape is right here in the studio. Eddie, put the two-inch reel that I gave you on the tape machine, please. Okay, mate, I'll do that now. Watching the hippest trip, and we are with the fantastic Eileen twins, aka the Ghetto Fighters, and they want to give you uh, their rendition of what uh, what it is to be a twin. Well, you know, a lot of people don't know what the word twin even really mean, but twin, the T is the twentieth letter of the alphabet, meaning two, two in or two win. Now. Two in meaning they're two in the moon, or two win, as it's known, means the past tense of win is one. So when two minds that are separate, born out of friction, comes and start thinking it's one, then that means we have we're twinning or we have acquired our total power. Male twins always deal with friction, always fighting. But ultimately, when they can come together as one, like we're coming together right now with you, Spider. Perhaps because this is a divine purpose. But as far as females are concerned, they're so much heavier than we are, Spider. The female twins. Yeah. So, they don't fight. Milani and Serena? Yeah. Oh, I'm Milani, by the way. I'm Serena. Um, yeah, we can stop that. I'm gonna get <laughs> Have you guessed it, <laughs> Okay. I'm going to get confused, so I'm going to try not to direct. Uh, we we should have won name tags. We should have won Well, first of all, um, welcome to the hippest trip, our show where we try to keep people informed and hip about things. And you two are, in my estimation, rising stars in the music industry. And uh, I'd like to give a big shout out and thanks to Julian Hertzfeld for introducing us. He's the man. Grow and weary as 
they try to find the meaning But I don't care what they say Cause we'll fly above the stars and moon As if we were two free balloons released in space Looking down at the troubles we made Yeah You know, you guys, uh, from what I've been listening to, are well on your way to a very bright career in the music business. And um, I kind of want to get into, um, one, the dynamic of being twins. Two, how does that relate um, when you're doing your music? So, in... You guys um, have got you got started in music at the tender age of. So at about six, but music has always been such a part of our lives. We've always had house concerts in our house, and um, as far back as we can remember, there's always been music there. Uh, I guess our formal training was piano first, and like any Asian kid, like any Asian kid, exactly. <laughs> And uh, we'd always be singing and goofing around, and um, it just slowly started to build more and more and more as we got older. And uh, when we were about 16, we just decided, let's, let's actually take a, sh a shot at this. And uh, the dynamic between the two of us, since we've been with each other for over 19 years, it's kind of inevitable that you 
just work so well together. I know a lot of sisters may not, but uh, we no, always, we're not we're not one of those twins. <laughs> we always bit, we always got each other's back. So um, that's through personal life and through music as well. So the dynamic is always fantastic between the two of us. If you can agree. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have never went through a sibling rivalry or... That's the thing. A lot of people... Everybody asks that. Like, whenever we get in fights, it's always, like, a, a two-second rebound. Like, whenever we get in fights, they don't last long at all. And I, I'm sure any twin can agree with that, unless they have something really out for each other. But even, like, sisters that feel like they need to compete over each other music is about so especially with us yeah. we don't think that's what it should be about it's just about being with people and blending music together instead of feeling like you need to compete yeah. so do you think that the music aspect of your lives um helps keep you guys in a, a, a blend or a, a harmony Does that's the fun there that? that's good <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean yeah of course i mean We've always been together since day one, and doing music on top of that has kind of just added on to our, our relationship or our bond together. Um, and I, I think, if anything, it just enhances it. So who is the who's the writer of the two? Or you both write? Who's oh, the writer? Oh, no, no, no it's both yeah, right. 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 Yeah. Both right. <laughs> and it's different every single time. It could be um, collaboration between the two of us right off the bat, or one of us could bring an idea to each other. And then the other one can finish it. It's, yeah. it's either way, like for any song, no matter how it starts, uh, both of us have some input on it. Whether it starts completely from both of us, or we, you know, help out each other, or help finish a song. Um, yeah, it always has both of us on it. The best songs that are written though is when it's like word vomit between the two of us, and we literally finish each other's sentences. It's it's crazy. Cool. Those ones are our favorites. I would like to, if I could, put you on the spot and have you do a little impromptu performance. Wow, they both play. That's, that's and we're lefty, lefty and righty. So I'm a righty and she's a lefty, so we avoid any sort of... That's incredible. Right, so. <laughs> and if you can't see, well, you can't see, but I, if there's no backing track to this. That percussion thing that you're going to hear, uh -huh. it's my foot. I have that's a nice. tambourine strap to it, right? <laughs> Okay, so is, uh, for the audience, this is Neilani and Serena Bolton, and they are twin sensations. Let's enjoy this quick performance. Thank you, girls. Uh, thank, thank you. you. This, so D. this one's uh, a new one. It's called Russia. <laughs>
Thank totally you. Totally pumping yeah. it <laughs> Neilani and Serena, our special guests on the hippest trip. Say, hippest trip, yeah. say goodbye to the audience. See you later. Bye. See you on the flip side. <laughs> Thanks again, Freddie. Thank you. Now the skeptics cry, it's all a lie. Music can't take a form. But when they played, their words were fade. Music lives and they were all. Within a sound, life flows around. And all the world could see is music born, living home. A physical reality. Welcome to the hippest trip and I wanted to go into real briefly for the audience um, about your latest release Mojo Man on the uh, Jimi Hendrix album that was recently uh, number one on Billboard charts. Yeah, go ahead, Jimmy. You yeah, well, <clears throat> you know, Mojo Man is a song that we did with Hendrix back in 1969 and uh, somehow, you know, it followed all the way up until now. And uh, we were fortunate to get in on this latest album. And uh, the album is number one. It was number one on the charts. And uh, we're enjoying a lot of success with it. So, uh, you know, great. Well, well I'd, I'd like to uh, build on that as well by just let, letting that be a testament of the fact that there's nothing that is really, you know, like a lot of times in the, in the industry, you, you hear you people saying that, Oh yeah, well that's old now. That's old, you know. That's a farce. You know, hold on to all the product because you never know what will happen later on. And so that's the, the truth. That shows that it's no sin, no no such thing as a product ever being old. Well, we can look at Ted Turner. Ted Turner's situation right now. He's got one of the hottest channels out there. You know, with old, with so-called old fit.